What's up, betters? Have a crazy story for y'all today. Apparently, Luis Elizondo's book, Imminent, that isn't due until October 20th, right? About a month out. Um, apparently, parts of it leaked online yesterday. So what does that mean? We're going to dive into that story exactly and what has been potentially revealed, right? So anyway, if you're new to the channel, you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day, y'all. And please hit that like button, vetters. That really helps out the video. So thank y'all so much for the support there. And of course, comment down below. What do you think about this leak of Luis Elizondo's book? So what book am I referring? Right here, this book. Again, due August 20th, 2024. Um, I'll put links in the description. You can go pre-order the book and, and be ready. Well, People that went to pre-order this book right here, Inside the Pentagon's Hunt for UFOs, Imminent by Luis Elizondo, right? There was a preview, 65 pages. It was being shared everywhere. Um, and here's one of the things they shared, just to kind of give you an idea about Lou's book, uh, its upcoming release. Uh, he's due to do, he's due to do, what the, he is do to give uh, this sort of online streaming signing thing, given books. Uh, so look, let's let's uh, since we're going to talk about his book today, let's hear from the man himself talking about his book uh, in this upcoming uh, live stream. And I'm coming to Talk Shop Live on August 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tune in to hear all about my new book, Imminent, Inside the Pentagon's Hunt for UFOs, and pre-order your autographed copy. Plus, you can ask me questions during the event. Follow my Talk Shop live channels to be notified when I go live. See you soon and thanks. Okay, here we go. Look, I'll put that link in the description. How about it? I agree. I, I want to see that. Um, anyway, we'll give, him a little, we'll give Lou a little promotion here. Right, because at the end of the day, this helps the book. All of this helps the book, right? So, look, this is the first thing I saw. John Greenwald tweeting out, Google, Bo Google Books published a preview of Lou Elizondo's book, Imminent. That preview reveals he was forced to redact information, likely per Dopser, and those redactions were left in. It also includes the TOC, the Table of Contents. Well, it included way more than that, right? And he puts a link to it. And a lot of people were doing this, sharing this around, sharing different things. Um, but at the end of the day, let's be real. Um, this does nothing but help the book. All of this press for the book, everyone talking about the book, you know, this does nothing but help, right? At the end of the day, all you want is make sure they get the links right, names right, right? So that things get shared, it's all right. That's what you really should care about. So I think... Because it got pulled down, right? They put up this preview. People are sharing all the stories, and then it gets pulled down, right? So, and this is the link they shared, right? And when you went to this link right here, you could see previews and uh, pages of whole chapters, right? You could read the whole chapters and whatever, everything, previews, which is common with a lot of books, right? They want to entice you to, uh, you know, get the book. A lot of times it'll be like the first part of the book, you know, get you going, start reading it, right? Um, so this is not uncommon. So there could have been three scenarios here, right? Because again, this later got, hang on, this later got removed, right? It later got removed. So why? Well, let's think about that for a second, right? Let's think about that. It could be just an honest mistake. Someone from the, you know, Google Books just put the preview up and uh, either early or, yeah, just early, right? It wasn't meant to go out this early, um, but Louis, Louis, Louis Elizondo knew about it, right? Um, it could have, you know, maybe Luis Elizondo knew it was going out, but not that much preview. So he's like, whoa, whoa, that's too much, right? More than we agreed upon. Um, it could have been someone from the place doing something nefarious, right? I mean, we got to just look at the probabilities here. It could have, 
but as far as it leaking, it didn't leak. You know, it got put up. I mean, I guess you could say it accidentally leaked if it wasn't meant to go out. It'd only be a leak if it wasn't meant to go out, right? But if it was meant to go out, but then Luis Elizondo, for many reasons, could have said, oh, maybe it was meant to just go out for a day and kind of get things going. Or, hey, that's not, that's too much or that's too early, right? But for there to be a preview of the book, that's not uncommon. Right. Luis Elizondo is going to do press uh, for the book. Right. And promote it and talk about some different things that are in there. That's what you do. I've interviewed lots of authors releasing books early. (laughs) Okay, that's that's typically how it goes, regardless of the content. Right. Regardless of what you think of this content. Um, So because a lot of people were talking about, well, because they a lot of pages from the book were were shared again, like 65 pages. Right. And then people were like, Oh, take down your tweets. If you shared it, delete your tweets, you know, and it's kind of, you know, once the cat's out of the bag, it's kind of hard to put it back in. And again, this is nothing but good press, uh, for Luis Elizondo and his book. Let's be real. Um, is 65 pages of a 300 and something page book a lot? Yeah, that does seem like a lot. Um, but I mean, it does, right? That does seem like a lot. But at the same time, maybe not. I don't know. Were they, was the publishing company worried about pre sales and wanted to get more attention? Uh, you know, we don't know how the book is performing, right? There, there's a lot of reasons behind the scenes, not just disclosure. Right. There's just like business. And we don't know to what extent Luis Elizondo is involved up to this point um, of me recording this video. Luis Elizondo um, has not posted anything about this at all, one way or the other. Right. So and he always said, wait till you hear from me. Right. So I don't know what. Right. That that seems kind of weird, too. Wouldn't Luis Elizondo have tweeted? Hey, here's a preview. Go check it out. Or again, was that meant to come, but just not today or yesterday, right, when it happened? And I think it was yesterday, right? I don't even know when that preview, how long it's been up or who was first notified, right? Are people checking the link every day? Did people get a message, like an email, if they're part of an email newsletter or something, they got a message, hey, here's a preview, go check it out. Like who found out and how and how did that get spread? You know what I mean? Um, it's hard to know where that started because that might give us an indication if this was on purpose or not, right? Or again, on purpose, but early, right? And there is a preview to come. Um, but again, Lou hasn't tweeted one way or the other about it. Like, oh, that wasn't meant to happen. So uh, at the end of the day, again, it happened, whatever the reason. And at this point, I think just... It's all good press. There's still so much more to the book to come out. It looks fascinating. Um, just a little bit that's come out is incredible, right? Some of the stories. Whether whether you believe it or not, it's going to be an exciting book. Um, so look, again, I'm not a big fan of leaks. I'm not going to share all 65 pages. I'm not doing any of that. Um, but I thought, let's give a little teaser. I don't think there's anything wrong with that of kind of some things that were kind of leaked, okay? But there was a lot Okay, this is very minimal, <clears throat> but I found interesting. So, um, let's see here. Well, okay, hang on, hang on. That's not, that's not right. Bam. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is from the book right okay just a small little teaser okay that's it i think this is okay in my opinion um just help spread the word of this book right who's not going to want to get this book now right um again whole chapters tons were shared all right you can go find that on your own it's out there not you know it's out there All right, it says, these craft are not made by humans. Humanity is, in fact, not the only intelligent life in the universe. 
and not the alpha species. Yes, I know that's going to take a bit of time to process, but buckle up. There's a lot more. That's pretty enticing, right? Who's not going to want to buy this book now? That should be the quote to get this book going. Um, again, I think regardless of how you feel about this, Luis Elizondo, you know, presence in this topic is massive. So everybody's going to go get this book, right? This just brings more attention to people that may not have known when it was coming out or or maybe on the fence about getting it, but like, oh, damn, he, okay, there is some stuff in here. Let's, I'm getting this thing, you know? People are going to be talking about this for months, maybe years, probably years. So, all right, that's an interesting tidbit. Now, there's an un- here, a shout out to uh, Skyfire News. Again, I'll put links in the description to all of this. In the book, I'm not going to show it, but in the one of the previews um, chapters, they t- you know, Luis Elizondo does talk about this famous 23-minute video and gives the details of it, right? This drone captures these three orbs flying in formation for like 23 minutes, right? This 23-minute video, and he's talked about it multiple times. And Skyfire put this compilation together, which I'll put a link to. It's like nine minutes. Go check it out. I'm just going to play a small clip, a um, little teaser of it, uh, talking about this 23-minute video, which, by the way, uh, Ashton Forbes um, also posted about because, let's be real, that's what the MH370 videos are, right? He says, 23-minute video. Man, what kind of stuff are we hiding? But he made his own post about three, you know, three orbs, triangular formation, Literally, MH370. I mean, it's interesting, right? So, look, I get it. People are just excited. They shared it. People were enthralled. I think it gives a nice temperature to see how this book is actually going to be received in the community. And I think regardless of what people are saying, they're excited either way. And they're going to read it. And they're going to talk about it, right? So, let's watch this little clip here. And then uh, we'll move on to the last bit, which you don't want to miss. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. there that will that'll that'll rattle you pretty good. Um, yeah, there's one. I, I'm not going to go into detail, but the, the video is about 23 minutes long. <laughs> it's it's man. Minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, pretty good, man. Popcorn. It's, uh, Gotta get it's, this. Uh, yeah, popcorn and some 3D glasses and uh, maybe some some Coca Cola or something. <laughs> Coca Cola. The 23 minute. So again, nine minute video. Go check it out. This 23 minute video. Um, And in that preview that did get shared, you know, there was quite a bit of detail. I mean, that the story right behind this video. Um, So, you know, that's going to be there's going to be a lot of stuff in this book. y'all. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff in this book. And look, this is the last thing I'm going to share. This isn't the whole thing, but this is the longest preview of it. Okay, that I'm going to share because I find it fascinating. Again, there's way more in this book, but this is nothing but just a little tease to get this book going, okay, right, who's, we're all going to want to get this book, links in the description to get the books, the books, sorry, right, pre-order any which way, hard copy, you know, do the talk shop live uh, with Lou, get a signed copy, uh, get a digital copy, whatever you want, right, and, and so let's just read this and see where we're at. Again, this is a preview of Luis Elizondo's new book, Eminent, coming out. In the following years, I was privileged to meet four other remote viewers who had been trained in the discipline. We often talked about our experiences with the technique. One afternoon, we discussed the capture of a suspected terrorist who had been on the U.S. government's radar for a long time. He was being held in a location thousands of miles from us. I had been to the location before. As a test, we all gathered together in a secure facility at the Pentagon with our brown bag lunches and attempted an act of group remote viewing. We directed our conjoined thoughts toward a specific terrorist in his cell. None of us had any sympathy for the ruthless killer who gleefully took the lives of our comrades. I wondered if we would leave a real impact on him. Something happened, all right. Months later, we learned that the terrorist had told his lawyers that the CIA had sent five angels 
to disrupt his sleep. Five figures washed in a white light stood over his bed and shook it violently, leaving him terrified. He felt that judgment was upon him. He shared the story with his attorney, and the tale later and the tale later ended up in a mainstream newspaper newspaper article about a secret CIA program being used to harass his client. I told Hal Putoff what we had done. He was not surprised. Now look, there's way more. Again, not going to share everything. There's a ton out there for people to look into. Right? There's a lot going to be in this book, right? And that confirms Luis Elizondo is a remote viewer, was trained as a remote viewer. In that preview, it did talk about how it all came about and everything. It was fascinating. I read a lot. I did read a lot of it. Um, And if you really dig, you're going to find it. So it's up to you. It's kind of one of those things of a movie spoilers release. You know, this it's up to you. How much do you want to spoil yourself before the book comes out? I don't think it's going to deter anybody from getting the book. If I'm being honest, it's just going to get more people excited about it. That's the truth. Because let's be real, 9 out of 10 leaks happen because the people want it to. All right. Once the cat's out of the bag, at the end of the day, it's just good promotion for this book. And I hope it does well, All Right. to be honest with you. We've all been waiting years for it. All right. So a little teaser, nothing wrong with that. Um, anyway, links in the description. Go check out everything if you want. Um, otherwise... We'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Um, I've got a special one. Okay, I'm having Steven Diener on to talk about the Las Vegas alien update, right? And apparently there's some photos of aliens that are going to terrify you, potentially, or at least blow your mind. That's according to them, Scott Roeder and Steven Diener. So I'm excited um, to see that and go into it. So look forward to that video tomorrow. Uh, It's going to be exciting. Um, All right, guys, we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Remember, every day is a gift, y'all.